Hey guys, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to learn how to play Hunger Strike by Temple of the Dog. So we got that main riff here, we're in standard tuning. Uh, it's a little tricky because you have to hold the melody note as long as you can before you know going back to this open string. So I'll explain when we do it. Plus it's a really repetitive, arpeggiated picking pattern. And there's some variations on that pattern that we'll have to learn too, a couple of them actually. And, and then we're going to learn the big power chord uh, thing for the, uh, that shows up in the song a few times. But other than that, it's pretty simple and um, not going to be, uh, it's going to be a pretty short lesson today. All right, so let's start here with this main riff. We're going to be picking across strings. It's a good exercise in that. And I always say when you're doing this style of picking where you're, you're picking across the strings, Always pick in the direction of the next string that you want that you're gonna play. So if I'm picking this D string, I'm gonna pick that and go downward with that, downstroke, because the next string I need to hit is a G string. And then when I come to the uh, G string, I'm gonna pick downwards because I'm going towards the B. And this time when I hit the B, I'm gonna pick upwards because the next string that I need to pick is going to be the G, so it's up. So I'll pick up to go towards that G string. So always pick in the direction of the next string you're gonna hit. All right, so we'll start here with just those open strings. We're gonna pick open D, open G, open B, open G. So that's down, down, up, down. Then we're going to place, uh, I just use my ring finger at the third fret on the B string. You're gonna pick that with an upstroke. Upstroke on the G, downstroke on the D, open D, then come back to the B string with an upstroke again, so with this. So that's uh, the pattern, so it's just. So you wanna let that B string ring out as long as possible when it's open. So we have this. So don't place it on there. You don't, you want, don't want to place it until right when you play that third fret. And the same thing here. When we start the pattern over, you see how I'm letting that third fret ring. I don't let it up, pick up that finger until right when I pick in the open B again. So we have this. Let me just do the pattern without changing the root note here. So we just have this. Let that hold that third finger. Release. Back down. Hold it. Release. So that's what makes it kind of tricky because you have to, you don't really change right on the beat there. So. All right, now, after you've done the picker pattern once there, you're gonna now add the second fret there on the D is gonna be the root note. So move that first finger there. And then the pattern's the same picking and everything, the same movement on top. So you hold that third fret here till right when you need to get this open B. So we have this. Without the second fret on the D, then with it. So one more time. that third fret and then we're back to the open D version twice remember let those each note on the B string ring as long as possible before um, the next it's just kind of rotating between the open B and the third fret so all together It's just the same pattern picked four times. All right, up to speed. And just repeat. All right, now there's a variation of that. Uh, I think when Eddie Vedder uh, starts singing, his part comes in, it sounds like this. So basically the pattern is the same. Now 
out after the at the very end that's the last time you hit the second string in the third pattern a third time playing through it you just just slide three to five back to three open B back to the third fret and then back to the open so this Now we also have a, a version of this riff which is really layered on top of this. You'll have somebody still play this same part here. But this one incorporates some uh, kind of chord uh, hits and some harmonics. So it sounds like this. Alright, so you might want to put your pinky at the third fret on the high E string just to get prepared here. You're going to pick across the open, it's kind of the first four notes of the picking pattern. So down, down, up, down, and then you're going to add that third fret on the B string again with the third fret on the high E already and strum the top three strings. So we have this. All right, and then when we go to the version with the second fret of the D, D string, you're just going to do this. You're going to lift up these, this chord and just pick the first four notes, then grab the harmonic at the fifth fret on the D string. And then go back to what we did earlier with the chords, on top, the chord hit on top with the open D. So all together. And just repeat that. Now that'll go on top of this. So that those kind of work together. All right, now we have the uh, kind of power chord version of this. This is in, uh, actually I think I might have said this is in standard. This is actually in drop D. Uh, if I even said the tuning yet. You can play everything we've played so far in standard tuning, but this part is in drop D. So take, make sure your low E string is tuned down to D. So that's just on the low six string. That'll allow you to do one finger power chords. And you're gonna have this riff. to the riffs. So we have just the open bottom three strings and then the second fret on the uh, on those same three strings with your first string. So we have this. And then half step bend release of the fourth fret on the D. Then we just have a quick down up on the muted string. So just mute the strings down here and you can mute it here too. And repeat. A lot of vibrato at the end of that when you release that bin. All right, so that's about it for all the guitar parts of Hunger Strike. It's a great song, but it's a simple song. Uh, it doesn't take much for those guys to create some really cool music. So I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com.